The Geographic Project is a project started by the National Geographic Society. The plan is to determine the migration patterns starting in Africa and going to the rest of the world. One factor they left out is the fact that their conclusions are based largely on the assumption of evolution. They show it starting in Nambia in Africa, based entirely on an evolutionary interpretation of the fossil record. This evolutionary interpretation of the data also influences the migration atlas and the genetic relationship graph. Despite this fact, the data shows indications of the post babel dispersion as mentioned in the Bible. The raw data in this study are the mitochondrial and Y chromosome DNA samples from various parts of the world. From this data, it is possible to show which lines are more closely related to which. Projecting back to an origin requires making assumptions about where that origin was. Those who did this study made the evolutionary assumption that the origin was in Nambia. However, one can also make the biblical assumption that it started in Iraq. Both are arbitrary assumptions, and they produce different directions for some of the integrational trends. One thing the study shows are clear focal points in Iraq for both mitochondrial and Y chromosome lines, right about the area where the Bible says Babel was. As a result, this study clearly shows evidence of the post babel dispersion. Several mitochondrial lines go from Iraq into Europe and Northern Asia. One goes right into Africa with a secondary migration from there to Asia. The Y chromosome and mitochondrial focal point are still in the area of Babel. This interpretation is supported by their own family tree of both mitochondrial and Y chromosome lines. That supports the Bible in that there is a clear three-way split in both the mitochondrial and Y chromosome lines when one starts in Iraq. Now Noah has three sons and three daughters in law, so we would expect a three-way split, and that is exactly what we have. This chart is derived from National Geographic's relationship and migration data. The three-way split expected from Noah's three daughter in law is clearly seen when one starts in Iraq. It is also possible, based on both map and family tree data, to show with a fair degree of probability which line came from which daughter-in-law. It also indicates that Mrs. Shem and Mrs. Japheth were more closely related to each other than they were to Mrs. Ham. This chart is derived from National Geographic Relationship and Migration Data. The three-way split expected from those to the sun is clearly seen when one starts in Iraq. It is also possible, based on both math and family tree data, to show with a fair degree of probability which line came from which sun. Note that the data is consistent with them being the sons of one man. In conclusion, the result is that even though the data has presented by National Geographic is loaded with evolutionary assumptions, it still shows patterns consistent with the biblical account. Where one starts where the Bible says it started, one gets the expected three-way split in both mitochondrial and Y chromosome lines.